and there she was with with uh, self harm scratchings all up her legs and and everything like that, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if she went and told the coppers what's happening to us in here. I wonder if she went for help. No, I'll never know. VR is a very experiential medium. It puts you right into an experience in a very embodied way. And that's what we often find useful in working with, with uh, mental health and promoting discussions around mental health. I'm Jill Bennett. I'm the founder of the Big Anxiety Festival and the Big Anxiety Research Centre at UNSW. So the big anxiety is really about addressing mental health from the lived experience perspective and that's something that hasn't always been done particularly in clinical contexts where you're looking for uh, medication or you're looking for immediate answers and what we do is really engage with people in communities to think about what they want what might be useful but also to get rid of the stigma of mental health and this idea that you know it mental health is always a disorder of the mind or the brain that's really one of the, the primary uses for immersive media, that it can just drop you into an experience that might take years to even begin to articulate, you know, and then you can share that experience and really start to examine it. It becomes something palpable where you can see feelings and in a dynamic way you can start to really engage with what's happening internally. And so it's quite a powerful tool for developing you know, emotion regulation and looking at the causes of stress and anxiety. It's exciting to see how our work has an impact on individuals and communities, but more than that, how it's impacting the way we think about mental health services and pointing to new ways of supporting people in communities. And I think that's really gonna be part of a long-term change.